Welcome back. It's another day at the shop and it's actually the weekend. Usually don't work on the weekends. Usually family time and everything. But I want to get this bed on. I really want to get this thing on. It's ready to go. I'm going to see if I can't pick it up and stick it back on the truck and then start working on a few things. Maybe get the boom on today too. We'll see how far I get. This thing is going back on the truck. I'm done modifying this part for now or any other modifications I can do on the truck for the time being. We can always pull it off again later if we need to. I'm sure it will be on and off a lot more. All right, looks like it's fitting on here pretty well. That was gonna be the big concern if in welding everything, anything warped too much, but it looks like it's lining up pretty good. I'll know more in a minute. I gotta try to get some bolts in. So the, the bed is gonna be removable is our plan. Well, to unbolt the bed, it's got eight bolts, four down each side that bolt into the frame. And then the boom portion will also be removable. It just bolts down on top. So the bed and the boom will be able to come off of the frame if we need to take them off and work on it. Now, some of the winches that are going to be on it will be attached directly to the frame. So eventually there'll be a winch under here. There'll be two winches on the side. There'll be another winch on the top so that there'll be two winches on the boom. Anyway, the, some of the winches will be attached directly to the frame. Some will be to the bed. So it'll kind of hopefully be modular enough where we can remove parts and pieces as we need to to fix different things. If we need to pull the whole bed off to work on something, we'll be able to. I don't anticipate once it's done, us needing to do that. But while we're building it and getting it where we want it to be, if we start using it and then we need to unbolt some things, work on it, then go bolt it back up and go to work the next day, we'll be able to do that. So plenty of modifications to do in the future. But let's see if we can get this bolted down and start working on the bed. So it's fitting a little snug. I've got the four front bolts in. I had to pick up the back of the bed just a little bit to get these four to fit in. Now I've got four more here in the back. So I'm gonna drop this back down, see if they line up. I may have to drill these holes out just a little bit oversized, to help some of this line up a little bit better, but we'll see. See if I can get these back ones in. If I can get them in, then we're, we're probably good. Sometimes you gotta get a little creative. Need a little extra weight on this corner. It's in now. All right, the bed is completely bolted on. Now we gotta move over to the boom. So because we took about six, eight inches out of the middle of the bed here. These wheel wells are now closer together, obviously. And the angled brace of the boom here fits right in between those wheel wells. So I've got to narrow that piece so that it will fit between these. So I'm just gonna, we've got three bolts that go through here. The middle one is the same and the holes through the frame are the same. I'm gonna drill out the middle one and then measure from it each direction so I can figure out how much I need to cut off both sides of that. That was also not centered on this perfectly. There was a little bit of a gap on one side, so I'm, I need to measure it off the center bolt so I can make sure the sides get cut correctly because they may have different amounts taken off each side. 
So I'm gonna go underneath because I can access that from underneath and drill up through the center one and then measure and mark and get the ends of that angled piece cut off. So did my measuring and I'm trying to figure out what was crooked, what, why the boom wasn't centered on the bed. It wasn't centered when we got it and then it's got pre-drilled holes in it and they're about every inch on up there and back here. And I think, I don't know why it wasn't centered originally other than I don't think this bed and that boom actually came together originally. So when it was lined up before, they went to the nearest pre-drilled holes. We did the same thing. We lined it up to the nearest pre-drilled holes, drilled our holes to the frame and everything. And the holes are about an inch apart. So we're one inch off center. So if I just match everything up so it'll bolt up pretty easy, this thing will be one inch off from being centered on the bed, centered on the truck. And it's going to take... A lot of extra drilling to make it straight but if I don't it's going to annoy me every single time I look at the truck to see this boom an inch off center does it really matter probably not it's going to annoy me forever yes so I want to make it centered I'm gonna to have to do a lot of extra annoying drilling I want to drill some new holes in this they're actually going to have to be through this base plate on this to make this thing line up because the holes in the frame really need to stay where they're at, but the holes in that need to move. So, I'm going to make it centered, even though it's going to take extra work. That's cut down and time to pick this thing up and set it on the truck. I do think I'm going to have to make some little spacers. This C-channel sticks up slightly higher than this. I may either make a little plate to go right here or a plate to go across this whole thing or maybe just put some washers in it. I may just do something temporary for right now. And then I've got a little bit of welding to do on this corner right there. From when we originally pulled this off we broke a weld loose so i got to re-weld that but i'm gonna do it once i get it on the truck and bolt it down then i'll have it in the right position and i'll weld it into place permanently so let's get this thing on the truck and then got some holes to re-drill on the boom and see if we can get it bolted down This has been quite a bit of work, but I've got this end completely bolted down. Two of these bolts are fastened down. I've got to get a couple more lock washers and nuts because I'm short a couple to get that side completely fastened down. But I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the boom on and it will be assembled for today. Still have, well, a lot of stuff to do. I may go ahead and get the lights wired up. I need to run this thing a little bit. It hasn't been driven in a while. It's been sitting. I need to run it, but I gotta get lights hooked up to do that and get some gas for it. Don't know if I'll get that far today or not, but I'm gonna try to go ahead and get the boom on and temporary the lights back in so I can maybe drive it home tonight just to get some 
just to get it up and running for a little while and because I want to drive it home because uh, I like driving it. It's all back on. I didn't know if the boom would be able to set all the way down on this. Once we narrowed the bed, I thought the wheel wells might be in the way, but it does fit. It'll sit all the way down as low as it'll go. Just barely, but it does fit. So I'm happy with that. Everything's fitting good. Obviously we still got a lot to do. I think I'm gonna throw some lights on it real quick so I can drive it home tonight and make sure it's still running all right. This thing's almost ready to go into some temporary not temporary but into service we've got to get we've got a ton of stuff still planned obviously we've got more winches we need to get lockers in it at some point we need to do some motor work um and put a different fuel injection system on it so that it will run better at steep on steep grades and stuff out in the ozark so a lot of work still to go. I don't think it's going to get lifted anymore unless we discover we have to, but obviously in the Ozarks, we need to keep it as small, short, small as possible. We are going to, we got to get a snorkel on it at some point. We've got to get a, we're going to bring the exhaust up here. We're going to bring the fuel tank. We got another fuel tank to put under it here. At least the side winches I've talked about. We're gonna bring the fuel uh, fillers up about the height of the window, I think, so that we don't ever have to worry about getting in so deep that we get water in through the um, gas tank fillers, because that has happened to people in the Ozarks. We're gonna get the exhaust piped up high above any possibility if we were to stall it and be in water and getting anything back in through the exhaust. I don't think that's a very common problem, but it is manual, it's an old truck. Anything we can do to make it run better in the type of water it's going to be on the better obviously we've got to get the, the air intake is right on top of the motor and we're going to try to come out do an enclosed air filter here somewhere and come out over here somewhere 
and bring a snorkel up so that we can get this thing to where it can go through some deep water. But to get it up and operational, which is our goal right now, is get it up, be able to start using it, doing smaller recoveries. We may not be able to do the extreme ones yet, but be able to go out and tow somebody out. We've got to get a tow package on it. We've got to get the other fuel tank and we've got to get lights, all of our flashing lights to get us legally ready to tow. Um, and then we've got to get insurance and licensed by the state to run the tow truck. So we're going to try to get some of that done so we can begin operations and then we will continue to work on it as we have money and time to make it better and ultimately what we want to do all the way with it. But eventually we'll tie in the rest of the bed here. We'll set some winches in here. We're going to have probably some three inch tubing and build a headache rack across here. Um, put some protection for the back glass there. The exhaust will actually pipe up inside that headache rack. It will not be part of the bed. It's going to be part of the frame. This is our plan anyway. And then we'll end up tying that in, probably bolting that into this so it can be separated and removed. Eventually, we'll bring a roll cage over the top, bring that down, tie that into the frame. Uh, we got to get a different front bumper and a winch on the front. That's actually going to be really high priority. We need a front winch. And then we've already got some of the lights inside, but a lot, a lot, a lot more work to do. But we're getting there. We're going to keep working on it. I'm going to get some lights hooked up real quick and then see if she'll run. back on he's running i'm gonna take it home and see how it runs don't forget go get you one of these shirts that would help us out a lot and maybe getting this thing done a little bit faster and these shirts will not be back these are the only time this shirt will be available we'll be changing it up on the next round so go get you one at three strand apparel.net i think it's about to die i'm out of gas i have to go get some gas anyway that's the fuel pump running we will uh See you next time, after I get some gas.